I'm Tim Ramirez, this is Jill Ramirez. Um, we've been married for 16 years. We have seven children, seven beautiful children. We've been GC leaders now for roughly three years. And um, yeah, loving every minute of it. Our typical rhythm primarily is to join for dinner and then have discussion afterwards. And the kids go downstairs, we split them into two groups. The older kids do the same GC questions that we do, but tailored a little bit more for their age. Um, and then the younger kids, we use the curriculum that they use on Sunday mornings for city kids. And we do worship and we do an activity. Um, we usually have individuals, maybe two individuals read the verse. I will uh, kind of summarize um, what the week's sermon was and, and then just go from there. We're not trying to offer advice. We're just trying to point them to God and trying to point them to show the, the love of God, the grace of God. We always try to make time to pray for each other, um, take prayer requests so we know where those individuals are seeking wisdom or patience or whatever they need to help them throughout the week or just throughout life. I think when it comes yeah. to kids in GC, it's very challenging yes. because it can seem like a task or a burden. Um, what are we gonna do with these kids? I actually love when I get to be with the kids because I get to know them and I get to hear who they are and see how they're growing and sometimes it's only for one second where some like light goes on or some conversation or some just tiny little moment where you connect but I think our kids need all the adults in the community not just the other parents but all the adults. I think when you invite somebody to lunch or to coffee um, it gives the, an opportunity for a more one-on-one -on -one conversation. Keep in touch and ask those questions. Hey, you mentioned this last week or you mentioned this a month ago. How are you doing? How are you struggling? Are you still struggling with that particular topic? Can, do I need to continue praying for you? Having someone over for the weekend, going to the pool with someone, doing those types of things where you're spending time outside. And I think that's so important, but especially when you start to see it happen outside of just the leaders and you start to see people in the group doing it, then you see this evidence of growth. We have this beautiful message that was given down to us, right? And why would we just keep it within our own little community? One of the things you always hear when people come to First City is what they, they felt so welcomed and they felt so cared for. But it can't just happen on Sunday mornings because there just isn't time for deeper connection. And so if we really want people to be connected, it's gonna be through a GC. In order for that to happen, we have to make space. And so we have to multiply. I think that the other thing that happens is it can be super overwhelming for unchurched people to walk into a group where there's 30 people meeting in one space. And so the bigger we let our GCs become, the less likely it will be for a new person to come in. And so I think we can really enter into that rejoicing in the opportunity that we have to reach more people and to offer people the gift of fellowship, which really is what Jesus gave to us through the cross is the gift of fellowship with the Father and fellowship with one another. And so that's what multiplication does is it just makes that more accessible to more people.